Okay, you know, I honestly, I don't get it. I don't get it. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Dune. Yes, the David Lynch movie made back in 1984. I have heard so much about this movie in terms of its cult status, in terms of its history, its production woes, just the whole what could have been thing about this movie. And I'm sorry, but if Lynch's four hour original cut was actually allowed to scream, it still wouldn't help this movie. This is a narrative nightmare. I understand that this is apparently based on one of the most popular, if not one of the best sci-fi novels of all time. It was written in the 60s, and clearly the dialect of which it was written in doesn't work at all. You have this bizarre new form of English, which, yes, it's 10,000 years into the future. The idea that language itself would advance does make sense. The idea of this weird pseudo mix of science, magic, and telepathy, and this spirit realm sort of ideals into a future aspect, yeah, it's unique. It's weird, but it's unique. And it's something right up there with David Lynch, Terry Gilliam. Those guys enjoy this weird ass shit. I don't, I don't enjoy it. The movie takes about goddamn forever to get going with the first 45 minutes being nothing but hardcore exposition. An exposition for that exposition. And then exposition for that exposition, which needs to fill in the parts that that first exposition didn't do. And on top of that, when things finally do get going, the movie is starting to get cut to pieces. There's clear and evident points missing. Where we cut back to characters, but they're not even in the same area where they were. There was one point where the Baron is in a completely different room after his father uses the poison tooth thing. You can tell that there's something missing there. Speaking, what the fuck did I just say? Is such a bizarre movie. It's a very strange, strange story. And I'm really, really hoping that the name Villeneuve makes it the best he can do because first off one thing he's got to do he's got to shorten down on these fucking bullshit names these names are ridiculous they're like the titles of the characters from cats prove me wrong these are just as stupid he's gonna have to modernize that if he's going to have any semblance of us remembering these characters names the dialogue is gonna have to be rewritten i just don't think that they can make a movie with that dialogue it's like watching a weird alternate version of shakespeare but shakespeare you can enjoy this is just boring i've ripped on this movie enough the visuals aren't bad. The visuals are actually pretty cool. There's a lot of creative visual aspects. Anything from what I've heard, he got close-ish to the books in terms of the strange costume design, especially limited with what a 1984 movie budget would have, especially for something as bizarre as this. The set deck is pretty good. Some of the visual shots are decent. Some of them are terrible. The visual kind of dynamic, the visual direction of this film, something that Terry Gilliam or maybe even Gamelia Del Toro would cream at the ability to have that kind of budget for a visual direction. And I've definitely probably pissed off people who either enjoy this movie or at least enjoy the book, but I don't not have faith in Denis Villeneuve. I have faith in every way for that guy. I'm just kind of curious about this though. In the end though, I'm going to give Dune a 2 out of 7. This movie's horrible. I guess maybe to see the book be put into some sort of visual form, but there's got to be an animated story or a comic that's done this better because this movie's fucking terrible. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all-new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign. But we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.